Burbank Station. This is the Green Line. Final destination, Buckner Station. Next stop, Inwood Love Field Station. Field 
station. This is the final destination, Buckner Station. Next stop, Southwestern Medical District, Parkland Station. Thank you. 
will open to the right. For your safety, doors will open automatically.
<laughs> uh, it only works in your cat. Sorry. How many uh, how many lives are you on now, by the way? Uh, I think I need to take one off because there was somebody smoking, well, two people smoking in the car down here <laughs> for the, um, the rail car. Uh, oh, let's God. see. I think there's another one I got to take down for. Uh, oh, the one guy that that almost like pulled his junk out. On the train, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Interesting. I, I, I don't know what it is here. Like, they're not doing any fare enforcement. This, like, I've never seen this bad before. There's no fare enforcement. Like, they don't, they're not even checking if people are smoking. 
Like you can just ride the thing, and it's it's like a wild, it's like wild wild west. Like, it's crazy. Well, I mean, it is Texas. <laughs> well, I mean, no. Like, well, I rode it two years ago. It wasn't that bad. It's okay. gotten way worse. Like, <laughs> Chicago, like, like I, I, I've seen this kind of stuff on like the L, and I'd never seen it here, and now I see it here. So I was like, wow. Right, Dallas has changed a lot. Are, are you not native to Texas? Or? I am, but down in Austin, like, nothing. People are really the right public transit. Oh, wait. Place. Is it called the Allen Austin? Oh, no. You are talking about Chicago. Oh, so you're talking about, okay, when you go to MFS? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what is Chicago? I was like, oh. I, oh, yeah, I don't know it's called the L because I'm really fixed one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I only know it's called the L because I used to um, take it like every time I go to MFF because the only, the only way to get to O'Hare or, or the only way to get to uh, to different Southwest is never been to O'Hare yet. Oh yeah, anyway. you go right yeah. every time. But now Southwest flies to O'Hare, so now it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we used to fly Southwest a lot because they they fly to Midway, but um, where we live in Madison now, we don't have Southwest. We, we don't we don't have Southwest flights there, so it's like so. Yeah. <laughs> But for somewhere like Midway, it's not really, I mean, it's not really a big deal. We don't really need to go to Midway anymore anyway. I mean, usually we don't, we're close enough, we drive to Chicago. See, what I used to do was take Southwest up to Chicago and then take American back. Because American was the only thing out of O'Hare. I'm probably still going to do that again and just fly Southwest into, into O'Hare and then fly American back because the, they fly through Terminal 5. Yeah, so, yeah, so the checkpoint is like... That would be awkward. How do I describe it? It's ghetto. Yeah. Like, they still have really, really old checkpoint scanners in there. San Antonio 8, by the way. I can't remember. Yeah, we're going to go check out the Furry Site. Furry Site College. Furry Site, yeah. Furry. I think they have a panel over here. Furry. Furry Psychology, I'm not holding on the wrong way, panel. Furry psychology with fur science. I guess that's the oh, best okay. thing. Fur science. science. That one always gets posted on YouTube, so I don't. Sure. I haven't seen it before, though, so I'll just try it. I might leave early to eat. Are we going to eat yet? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> remember, <laughs> it's a completely different schedule. Remember, yeah. remember, we. we <laughs> yeah. Well, that and it took me an hour to get down here because of the rail, so. There's some 
the shed.
Okay, that was crazy.
apparently that's the line for the elevator. Yikes. It's like lying up or what's going on right here? I think this is not the older one. I don't know what's going on. messed up. They're sending everybody to the first floor. It's crazy. I 
Okay, so shit's going wrong. Like the hotel's confused. Staff are confused. It's a mess. Here is what you will see. The temperature for this con was that you'll see the same for the other con. It's kind of in like the 70s. Yeah, I'm really glad I'm not staying in the hotel because that line looked like a hot mess.
life. My God, this is a mess. for invasion, yeah, the Nazi con. Yeah, no, fuck that. Shut it from the What the hell? Okay. Ooh, cocktails. Natural care for ourselves and our cats. What the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, all these pet care products. Holy fuck. printed on paper. I don't think they just copied this or interesting. Switch. This one for you to on. Oh. Sometimes your best self is your persona. Because they sponsor like near unreadable. Yes. Man, this is ridiculous. I can't believe like escalators busted, elevators busted. I take back what I said, people are breaking shit this year. It's ridiculous. I like how the guy just fixed it too, and it's still busted. been down here for like an hour and there's already so much shit that's busted. Yikes. I think this con was expecting to have like 20% less people and instead probably got 20% more than it usually does. Because people went, oh it's in Texas, there's no mask mandate. Oh it's in Texas, I don't have to have vaccination. 
nice background. I don't listen to it in the polls too many times. Oh man, I don't miss working retail for that exact reason. When I was working at the bakery, that song, boom, clap, the sound in my heart, the beat goes on and on and on and on. And on. Like, how is that not torture? It, it should be cruel and unusual punishment. They should pay people extra. They was paying me $10 an hour to, to like... Torture myself? To like what? To deal with these customers and you're calling me a bitch-ass motherfucker for like not knowing where the, uh, the pants are, like where the Wait. pants are? Like, you, should, you should at the very least give employees like a playlist pool with some stipulations and let them occasionally insert their own music. Oh, I don't remember Garth. But... Oh, were you high? Yeah. Is it Sylvia? No, it's I do, I think. No, it's, it's Marzipan. Marzipan, okay. Oh, that's right. I, I did, didn't finish it. Wi-Fi hotspot option. Yep. Would you turn it on by chance? Yep. Tables on the last few days. They're not like all of them. All of them have that same sign, and there's a thing right there where they're selling concessions. Yeah. Oh no, I may try to finish this quickly. There's not many people at our table. So they have these tables specifically for not eating. Those tables over there are specifically for eating. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sounds good.
Thanks for the advice. Yeah, they have like a green. Uh, so they have the same for the ones up there. They also got rid of, the only thing is, they got rid of like the red ones for up there because they had too many people for red, so. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, it really is. But eh, oh well, any port in a storm. Ooh, coffee.
You look like you're having trouble. Huh? You look like you're having trouble. Mm -hmm. The glasses are extremely fogged. <laughs> Stop right here. <laughs> that's what, I guess just considering she's been the one that's hanging on my strings a lot lately, so, yeah. So how is your elevator con? Uh, or I, con. I, don't know I mean, I only... I, I, I have no idea because I'm not singing I didn't get stuck in the elevator so. or anything, so... Oh, okay. Someone's told me they've been waiting in line for things more than... Um, they feel like they've been waiting in line for things in general more than doing anything in the convention. Registration was about three hours. Thanks. Yeah. So that was a bit, you know, and I couldn't pre-register because um, work and stuff wouldn't give me the schedule. Well, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, people are waiting. There was a pre-reg line on Thursday that was at least four, four hours long, I think. So you would have been waiting as long anyway. So, I mean, it wasn't even worth it with you pre-reg or not. They were just not. Someone told me they had 30% more staff, but I think that, I think, I think there's quotation marks around that. I think it's 30% staff from last year. The year before that, they kicked a bunch of people off of staff that were long-time staff. So, they're struggling with all these people that don't have any idea what they're doing. What if I should have just went upstairs and did a volunteer? Because at this point, it's like, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Oh. I've been wandering around and I've been trying out some of the panels and stuff and the panels have been kind of really awkward the ones that went to was just the panel. I think they repurposed most of the volunteers they had for registration elsewhere, so Oh okay. That's pretty, they're, it's, they're probably good by now. They been, usually they post on their, their TFF thing, their news thing, if they need volunteers and I haven't seen any, so I think they figured it out after Yeah, upstairs they had a desk. After the hot mess that was yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, with these escalators out and stuff, and the escalators, I'm just getting around the stairs. It's not a big deal, but I had this foot problem in my so kind of hard to scale. Oh, yeah, I know. So, like, um, the elevators up here are broken now, too. Yeah, that one was broken. Like, this is usually not this bad with things being broken. I, I think there are more people here than they expect it to be. I think they expected to have less than usual, and I think this is more than usual. I've seen, I feel like I've seen a lot more people at this point than I have in previous years. Yeah. Maybe because FC canceled. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But where, I mean, where is BLFC normally held? Where is it what? Where is BLFC? I always forget where these cons are held. Oh, Reno. That's in Reno. Yeah, it's in the casino. I thought you just went to that recently. Yeah, October. They both went in the summer or the spring too? So the October was them moving the date later because of the pandemic. It was supposed to be, it was supposed to be in, in its normal date, then they moved it later. But that, since they have contracts with the hotel, they have to have it on its usual date. So it'll happen again in June. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go again. <laughs> I got the vacation time, so I need to use it. I suppose they might have weekends off by then, who knows, but... I don't know if I'll... Uh, it just, it's been kind of hard for me to, to fit in the con. I, just, I, I can't just walk up to people and say, oh, man, just, unless I know you ahead of Oh, that, that happens here, too. I mean, it's better to meet people and then meet other two people. But the problem is that this con tends to have a lot of people that are uh, younger. A lot of the older people don't come to this con because of the more... Uh, I guess it tends to be more of a party con and stuff. That's the other thing, like, this, this, there's a number of things that are happening this year that are very unusual. Like, they're shutting down parties ASAP. Usually, even on years we didn't, like, with other cons that, have, that don't have party floors, like MFF, usually hotel's pretty cool and they just let you have a party wherever, as long as you're not, like, really disturbing anybody. This year, though, they're, like, shut, like, this con, they're shutting every party down. It's ridiculous. 
like I was going to see if there were any parties last night, but I saw, uh, I saw a guy talking about couldn't find any. Apparently, they they've been all shut down. Somebody mentioned that on the TFF chats. So I was like, uh, fuck. That's great. To be fair, though, most fur cons are not in Marriott hotels, mm-hmm. and Marriott is a Mormon chain, uh-huh. so they're probably very, uh, very a bit more strict on like parties and stuff. I would think. So I've never seen a Marriott be like a party con thing. I don't know. It's weird because you would think because Acorn used to be here that there would be more of like a party friendly atmosphere, but I don't know. Maybe they did maybe Acorn doesn't do that? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> But yeah, this year is definitely unusual. From stuff breaking to parties not happening and to ridiculous lines, like usually in elevators. The elevators at the last one were way faster. Like, everything is kind of combining to make a hot mess. Yeah. And I'd almost recommend doing like MFF or, or VLFC instead at this point. I think that when, next time, I mean, if I'm going to go to another con, I'm going to probably, I'll end up getting the room at, as like if it's hosted, I'll go get the room at directly as a hotel. Because uh, it's a pain having to park and maneuver out. Oh, yeah. I have to, I, 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 I uh, got the show. Oh, yeah, I heard the parking the sucks, too. Yeah. Well, our parking hasn't been so bad so far. Because I got one of the garages nearby. Hopefully, I don't think it was earlier or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm just like, you know, after this con, I, I don't, like, I don't really want to go back to a con at this point because I just, I feel so awkward thing. but... It's, it's just like, this con. I'd like to try... Like, it know, is just this con. Yeah, I'd like to try it. And maybe just organize something ahead of time. With people. Uh, well, I mean, even still, I would try, like, for one, I would try cons where there's more people you're just going to naturally know. Like with BLFC, the Wild Abandoned has a whole thing there, and a lot of people from, from Wild go there. Yeah. That's the other thing. Like, the Foxes goes there, uh, Lino goes there, uh, uh, Diffuse is there. Like, I think people that you would ideally know across Twitch go to BLFC. Because that's like, it's, it's a party con. Like, it's fun, you can go in and have fun yeah. and get in trouble and do lots of stuff. So, everybody goes to that. And a lot of them are on the West Coast, so that's also a part of it. Um, here, uh, this is more of like a younger kind of introductory con. Yeah. So and you have a lot more people that are more clicky, I guess. I think because this is more, since this is in the South, there's a lot of people that have grown up in the South that are more concerned about being a furry and being open about it. Uh-huh. Like, if, like when I was on the rail, there were people giving me nasty comments because they thought that, they thought I was trans. Yeah. Like, it's not as safe to be yourself here in general. And I think people are like... Also, kind of like, like, just walking outside just to get somewhere. It kind of creeped me out. Like, yeah, I know. But like, I Dallas like, is very... Yeah. I just don't like being, like, hassled by, like, tourist people. But it's like, you know, we don't want to look like, like a convenience store. And I'm just like... I feel like I'm being, like... Yeah, Dallas, store, Dallas yeah. is a very big problem now with homelessness. It's getting a lot worse. The problem is it's very hidden because a lot of them will hop on like the rail lines and the buses and it's so big uh-huh. so like they'll be all over the place yeah. and, you, and you don't really see that in Chicago unless you hop on the L and actually even then and then it's still not yeah, I, I don't know what it is like Dallas overall has gotten like even just from two years ago um, like there was no fair enforcement officers there was no, like, anything on the, on the, the rail. It was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never seen, like, the city go be this downhill. Well, this is my first time in Dallas, too. So, learning how to drive around here. Driving around here kind of sucks. It does. <laughs> it, it both sucks and is necessary. Yeah. Like, there's no bike lanes. There's nobody walking around. You can tell, like, nobody it does anything to drive around. It's fresh to see an H-O-B though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and hopefully the, the, the traffic lights are so bad because I ran the red light earlier and I'm just like dude I'm going to get a ticket oh we don't have traffic cameras 
There's no traffic cameras? No, they're out, they got outlawed. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, traffic cameras are absolutely outlawed here. Like, there, yeah, were, there, was, there was a couple at, at like, uh, some of the intersections in Austin, but they had to get taken down because the bill was signed that said no traffic cameras. So you will not see a traffic camera in all in this state anymore. All right, well, I lucked out then because I thought I was going to get a ticket for sure. Yeah, no, people run red lights all the time because of that. I read, you know, I, uh, I read a red light in uh, Washington State. And, uh, you know, it was just more like making a right turn, but didn't go, I didn't come to a complete stop. I just yielded when it's supposed to be a full stop. And Oh, no, here it's just a yield. Yeah. Yeah, you want to turn right, you turn right. <laughs> people honk at you if you don't, too. Yeah, I got ticketed and they sent a letter in my mail. And it was just the worst. Jeez. It's hard There's to still a few people that I haven't... Yeah, there's lots of random advertisements. Shameless promotion. Yeah, exactly. It usually doesn't do anything, but people still do it anyway. That's interesting. There's still a couple people here that I know, like people in Wild Band that I like. I still haven't seen Juicef's or uh, Tom. I saw Juicef's a bunch last night. Huh? I saw Juicef's a bunch last night. He's got the backpack with like the, the like, emotes. His own emotes? Yeah. Okay. Like, like the spinning off. one and the I can't remember like the dance cat like version of that. He's like all got all the animated ones on his like little backpack thing. I know you really want to meet me. I saw Jick too, and I just want to test the kind of exchange. Jick is Jick is intention horse. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. I, 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 I knew that. I, I, I usually just keep a Jick as like an acquaintance in the last slide expecting anything further. He's a good guy, but he does not does not know how to foster a friendship. Yeah. Or maybe he doesn't care. I don't I don't know. I got no opinion. Just I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to assume I just like yeah. That's that's what I've seen. No I can say a question. <laughs> huh? So I can say a oh yeah. Um, I was kind of surprised that Lionel wasn't here because he was in Houston like I think last month for some reason. So I don't know what that was about. There he was, wasn't he? I thought he was. I thought he was like staying down here for a little bit to go here, but I guess not. I didn't know that you followed him. Not religiously, but I met him at. Um, LFC, so. I've heard him get plugged in here. Uh, when I went to the Twitch panel thing, uh, Better Room was hosting it. Better Room plugged in. Oh. So I guess they do a lot of stuff too. Better Room's a good guy. Almost too good, honestly. Yeah. They, they tend to take advantage of it here. <laughs> But I think he's gonna be like the next con chair at some point. So. I think so. I think so. I think it's always like a vice. Oh yeah, vice chairs are always like they're gonna be con chair in the next yeah. year. Too. I guess Colonel Equinox is going on right now too. I didn't yeah. know it was an actual. I thought it was a virtual. No, I think that's in Toronto. Oh, okay, Canada. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What you need to do, and it will also help you find people, uh, first off, you need a reference sheet of your persona. Yes. That is the, like the first thing you need to get. Second, bring it with you, bring copies of it, get badges, get like a badge. Mm -hmm. Or you can, well, I don't know, sometimes, it's probably easier with the smaller cons actually. Uh, usually if you go in on the first date, you'll find other dealers or say artists in the artist alley that will give you like an Akon badge. Or if you just search around, like say Twitter, for people doing um, like TF, like a type like, like TFF badge or something, you'll find people who will do a badge before uh, the con, and then and then give it to you at the con. And that's another way to meet people too. Like I met, um, yeah, I forgot my freaking belt, so I have a tail I can't wear. Do they just give you their badges or something? Huh? No, it's just a badge that, that like 
that I paid for her and they made and oh, gave okay. me a cut con. So the bad part about not staying here though is that I have to carry all my shit on me. Oh no, that's, that's, that's my other one. That's one of them. That's from oh, that's a... Really cool. That's from an artist... That's from an artist that I got for MFF a couple... Actually, that was 2019, 2018. That's good. Artist I met. Um, the other one I have here. I need, I need, I need a little punch on it. Yeah, it's already been like dirty, dirtified and everything because I've taken it all over the place. So that that con that that badge has seen like six cons by now, I think. Yeah. Which is in here for some reason. I think I figured. I think I figured I was gonna try to go up to the video game room, but then it was like, oh, you can't get up there. You need to, to sit on the elevator that's constantly packed with people. But when I literally left, I, I, I took the rail line out of here at like five in the morning last night. So. here too. Yeah, she was making themed uh, badges for, for uh, BLFC. I was like, ooh, I want that. I want one. Well, I'll know to get some badges when I uh, come by next. I gotta get going. I can't keep going for a week. It's long. Okay. But, uh, I'll catch you around. Have fun. Saving. Oh shit. Oh, I think it was a screenshot. Okay, weird.
ridiculous.
Oh, right. I forgot the door has been closed like 30 minutes ago. Shit.
Holy Christ. Oh, 
yeah, one of my friends, uh, yeah, he was with the uh, He does wrestling and stuff. But, um, I don't know if he woke up in time for it, because it was first thing in the morning. But, but hopefully he had a good turnout. Yeah, I need to uh, start losing a little bit of this quarantine body, but uh, one day at a time. Yeah. But like I said, it's 36, 37, 37, like... So the fun part is all three elevators are more or less synced up, so just, if you see an open elevator, just Get on. Oh, now we got a lot. Okay, things are getting spicy. Oh, things are getting spicy. Better than the other line. Okay, so this is going to be the first one. So we're going to make sure to get everyone out. Here, can we get people to like move to this wall? It's one of those things of all three were like synced up for a little bit there, so I'm glad that one of them is getting away from it. But very well away from it. Yeah. Well, it jumps from like 20 whatever down to four, so it it is go all the way down. I think they were just the same thing they were doing earlier. Well, these ones only go to two, four, and then 29. I know, but going down to go up. Oh, that's part of it, is if anyone does go down to go, I mean, they blocked it off on the second floor, so you can't do that. The only I still saw people in the fucking Okay, house. here, pile it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Two, four, five, 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 five. <laughs> Probably get you two on. 